What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back, doing some VGC battles with this brand new G-Max Blastoids team, alongside with two new Pokemon, Lycanroc and Tauros. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on the channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. But First spot on this team, we got G-Max Blastoise, and I'm so hyped to use him because I have not used him yet. And he's kind of like the Charizard. His G-Max move is kind of like Charizard's G-Max Wildfire, but water. It's just water. It's just kind of the same thing, but it just makes him more viable in the online competitive battles. But he has Torrent as his ability, Assault Fest so we can soak up some shots, Scald for a stab, Water Move, Blizzard because it can go alongside the Vanelx and hit 100% Inhale, Fake Out, and Flash Cannon. For coverage, we got Vanelx to set the hail and Aurora Veil and make Blizzard hit 100% of the time. So if I go Vanelx and Blastoise, I can double out on the Blizzards and just make both of them hit every single time. It is awesome. He also has Flash Cannon and Taunt. Taunt is going to work very, very well, especially up against Tailwind Pokemon or Pokemon like Trick Rooms. But Incineroar in our third spot, he is awesome. He has Rocky Helmet, Intimidate, normal moveset for him. It is just perfect. He's such a good mod for the competitive field. And Braviary over on the right side as our Tailwind Setter with that weakness policy. So if we can trigger that, it's game over. We can roll out and just dominate with big boy Braviary. In the bottom two spots, we got two new Pokemon from the Isle of Honor, which I am actually very, very like hyped to use because we got Lycanroc, Dawn Form. I don't know if each form is like, different. This one's, uh, I think it's Dawn Form. Now, this one isn't Dusk. I think it's Dawn Form right here. I think there's a total of three forms, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's a total of three forms. This one's the Dawn Form. It has Tough Claws, so any contact move makes it do 1.3 times damage. The Focus Sash has ability. Rock Slide for stab damage. Play Rough, Stop and Tantrum, and Protect. And then in the final spot, we got Big Boy Sheer Force ability. Life Orb as its item. Tauros right here with Body Slam for stab. Close Combat for coverage. Iron Head for coverage. And Work Up to actually boost up his physical attack. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, Rent code is at the bottom. I don't know if I said this, but shout out to my boy MC for sending me in this team over on my Instagram page. If you guys are uh, interested in building me new teams with the new Isle of Armor Pokemon, DM me over on my Instagram or just DM or just uh, comment in the comment section down below. Seriously, just make sure you get to me because I'm looking for people to build me teams for new Isle of Armor and all these new Pokemon. Considering there are a lot of Pokemon I want to show off in the competitive field. Well, let's get rolling here. Let's get rolling here. Brand new team. Pipe, pipe, pipe. This will be my first GMAX. Well, new G-Max, I will be showing off, so that's pretty cool. We got ourselves Blastoise over here. Good one to pick. So I still got to show off Blastoise, Venusaur, Cinderace, Rillaboom, and Inteleon. That's going to be awesome, but I cannot wait for these guys to actually be uh, used in rank. It's like casual ladders fun and all, but still. So you guys know that you just want to see them in rank and see how they do in the uh, competitive field. See if we can push up the ladder with them. Here we go, guys. Hopping into battle number one. This guy has a Meowstic Clefairy. What is it? Maifu? Maifu, I believe that is. Or that might be the first stage, but I don't know what that one's called. Gallade, uh, Fromantis. Ooh, ooh, a little bit of new Pokemon coming out here. And Ninetales to set the sun. Okay, who should I roll into here? Um, I could go Vanellix, but then I feel like Ninetales might be a little bit slower. The sun's kind of scary. I think he's going to go Meowstic. Uh, not even going to lie. I kind of want to set up a Tailwind. I kind of want to go Incineroar. Do I want to go Tauros and fake out and set up a workup and get rolling from there? Could be a beast there, or I can take speed advantage all day. I kind of want to take speed advantage here. And then bring Blastoise and Lycanroc. Let's go Blastoise and Lycanroc. Let's get rolling here. Let's get it. Let's get it. We'll save Tauros for the back end. But I actually loaded up battle number one a little bit ago, and the dude had all legendaries. And I was just like, nah, I'm not showing this off. I just ran from the battle real quick. I was like, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. They're not even like viable in rank, so why would I show it off to you guys? But if you guys want to catch more content from me, head in the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. If you got questions or you just want to hang out with me, hit that follow button and turn on those notifications. So you know when I go live. But good little instant war lead right here. We get that uh I think both these are physical attackers, so that's huge. Unless I don't think any of these things could be defiant. Let's see. No, I don't think so. I think I think Glade could just be justified. It's totally fine by me. It's totally fine by me. I'm going to fake out onto the my shell. That's what it's called. And then my food's the other one. And then do I bulk up? I'm going to bulk up. I'm going to bulk up here. And then I, I might Dynamax the Braviary, to be honest with you guys. To be honest, these things are minus one. I might bulk up and then just uh, Dynamax the Braviary and get rolling from there. Or I could save it for the, uh, for the Blastoids. Whatever I really want to do. What do I want to do? Do I really want to win? Like, I can Dynamax Braviary and just dominate after this. But I think I'd rather show off the Blastoids or something like that. Let's just see what he does turn one. 
I don't think any of these guys want to fake out. Let's see what he goes for. He, oh, no. Who, wait, is that me? No, he's Dynamax. Okay, he's Dynamax and Glade, hopefully. Kind of hoping Glade and he goes for a Max Knuckle. That's what I'm thinking into my Incineroar. Yep, he Dynamaxes Glade. We can get that free little fake out there. And you can go for a Max Knuckle over on my Incineroar. He kind of already did his job. Kind of already did his job. Here, he got that Intimidate off and he's going to be able to get off this fake out. And that thing goes first. That's whack. That is whack. What you mean? It's okay. That wasted a turn and he gets hurt by that Rocky Helmet. And uh, this thing is life one. That flinch cannot move and this thing goes for a Max Knuckle. Got to be into my Incineroar, right? Super effective, right? Oh no, goes into you. Okay, that's totally fine. I am going to bulk up here. And these things got the speed advantage, like hard. Okay, so they're back to normal here. A little scary. Bulk up comes out. Yeah, you. Now, do I Dynamax or do I set the tail? Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna start burning definitely with that Incineroar. Uh, let's burn. Let's go Will O Wisp over onto Glade. And then I think I just Brave Bird out. Where do I Tailwind here? Hmm, I could Brave Bird pick up the KO, or I can Tailwind hopefully stay alive. I'm gonna Tailwind. Cause if I if cause if I get this Tailwind off, I'll definitely take first turn priority next turn. He goes for high jump kick, miss. No, of course you land it, and it's gonna do some mean damage over on me. And go after my Incineroar on this slot. Go for another Max Knuckle on Incineroar. Go for Incineroar. Let me get this Tailwind off, baby. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're gonna definitely get off this Tailwind and a Will O Wisp, which is going to be huge. We'll take speed advantage, and we'll get rolling out. A Brave Bird can take out any of these guys in one shot because we are plus one on attack. Stab, and it's super effective. And uh, we're chilling here. And I can get off another burn if I really want to. Which I probably will not. I might just Parting Shot out. Look at that. This thing's burned now. He's, he's only plus one. I might Parting Shot so I can get that Intimidate and that Fake Out once again. So looking pretty good. Let's go parting shot over on Glade. Lower that again. And then just take out uh, my show. Mind show, or however you want to pronounce it. Hopefully he doesn't protect. That would be a smart play. He might guard. He might guard. But nice little play by us. We, we looking good. But I'm actually going to... My Brave Bear is going to die. He's going to... Oh, he's going to withdraw that. Little smart play right there. He's going to go into Nine Tails. How much damage can we do to this Nine Tails? How much damage are we going to do to this Nine Tails? He's going to set the drought. Which, oh, mm, that's a little tough for my G-Max Canyon aim. He's going to guard. Okay. That's fine by me. Braviar is going to go down here anyway to uh, stab damage. Or not stab. Recoil damage. Let's see. Yeah, you, can we take out? Oh, my God. How close is that? What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, we took a speed. I cannot change the weather. Actually, I can change it to hail, which could help us out a little bit. I have speed all day. I'm not worried about that, uh, that Glade too, too much. The parting shot does not really do anything. I kind of want to set this Vortex. I ain't gonna lie. With the G Max Canyonade and then change the weather up. Or I could go Legend Rock. Oh my god, dude, Legend Rock's gonna be a beast in the back end. It's gonna be a beast in the back end. But I'm not really too worried about that My Shao. Because I have Legend Rock with tough claws in the back end. Uh, do I set the Vortex or do I change the weather first? Hmm. It should be fine. This should be able to KO you, and then I should be able to actually go here. G Max Canyonade. I. As much as I want a G-Max Handy, I kind of want to change the weather first, but let's go here. Let's go on this Glade and just set the Vortex. Let's just set this Vortex and show off my boy G-Max Blastoise. This is my first G-Max Pokemon I am showing off, which is awesome. And I'm trying to think. I thought, um, is it true that the Crown Tundra did, uh, I saw that they leaked all the, the Pokedex for it, but I don't know if I'm just, uh, thinking of something else, but I thought I saw a Skeptile. Blaziken and Swampert in there. Is that true? Is that true? That would be amazing. Max Canyon comes out here though. Uh, the what's called damage is gonna help it out. The drought is definitely gonna help it out completely. But I just want to get that vortex rolling. Let's get it, yo. Catching them in the vortex, and we do have an assault vest, which is beautiful. I'm not worried about that glade too too much. And can we take out Ninetales here? That'll be lovely. Come on. Yes, sir. Beautiful Ninetales. Get it out of here. And hopefully this thing can kind of just take out my Incineroar. I really don't want to hear. Game Punch gonna come out here. Yeah. Okay. So you're dead. I'm not worried about him. I'm not worried about that thing. We're going to get my boy Lycanroc out here. And I should have one more turn left in the Tailwind. So I can just go for a play rough and just whap on that thing. Just tell it to get out of here. I might change up the weather now. The heat doesn't really help us out too, too, too much. But that Vortex does. That's exactly why I wanted that. That's exactly why I wanted that. But yo, the Crown Tundra Pokedex looks so cool. Let me know in the comment section down below what Pokemon you guys saw from that. Who you are most hyped for. I know a lot of people are hyped for Garchomp, Dragonite. If 
if the uh, Sinnoh starters are coming in there, I'm hyped for Skeptile and all the other ones. It's gonna be so much fun. But, oh, he goes with Lorantis. Who is Fromantis? Fromantis is the first stage. Alright, I might just drop a Rock Slide as a stab. Nah, we're just gonna go for a play rough, take out the lead. And I'm gonna change up the weather here and do some big old damage onto this Lorantis. What you want, fool? Player off coming out here. See you later, Galade. And hopefully my Blast Weights out speed's taking out this Lorantis, and we can keep my Lycan Rocks up. Focus Ash. Let's see what happens here. Here you go. Hailstorm coming in hot. Come on, baby. What you want? I don't know if this is going to take out because it's not stab. No, it does not take out. But still, decent amount of damage, and we get that weather change. We get that beautiful weather change. Lycan Rock looking very, very well. Oh, this thing got a berry. This thing got a berry. Things got that berry. I'm thinking Lycan Rock still might be able to outspeed that my show. Let's see what he does. He goes for a superpower here. And you're going after Lycan Rock, which is totally fine. There goes our Sash, and the Buffets are going to take us out. That's a little rough. That is a little rough, to be honest with you guys. Mm -mm -mm. Can Vortex come close to taking that uh, Lorantis out? And the Buffets? If that's the case, that would be pretty nice. Buffets doing some damage. Ooh, I hate the Buffets. Oh, no, it didn't even do too, 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 too much damage because he had the berry. I was going to say too, too much damage. Forgot about that berry. No more Tailwind. Oh, Battle Number One's not looking too good. I think I, I might screw myself over with that Buffet. That would have been huge, actually. Keep him in here. Mm. Keep Lycan Rock. Okay, okay. We go for another Hailstorm, take out the Lorantis. Or I think I just go for a stab G Max Canyonade. Over on this. Let's see what you want. Because Lorantis might protect if it is holding protect. Let's see what happens. Lorantis does protect. Let's get it. That could be big for us. That could be big for us. My show's gonna bounce. Oh, you hunk of junk, man. What you mean? Sing takes a balance. He's gone, and there goes all my Dynamax turns. The smart little play by him. Vortex is still going to be able to do some work. I don't think I have Protect rocking out with Blast. So I just think we only have Fake Out. They take the Buffet, and the Vortex damage should be coming in here. Yep. G Max can't even need Vortex, and then Vortex over on that. If I had Protect, that could be huge. But I do not. But I do not. All right, all right, come on, boy. So it's a need here. Hmm. Blizzard's 100% hidden, so I'm going with the Blizzard. My shell goes first. I'm hoping my shell comes down, and then we outspeed that Lorantis and potentially win this game with this. Let's see what happens here. Oh, bro, yo, you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Do not take me out, bro. That's gonna KO me. That is so whack. I want to check out the speeds. I want to check out the speeds on both these Pokemon to make sure I. Well, he would have. Well, I would have won if I was faster. That is whack. I'm gonna check him out and get back to you after this battle. Second battle coming at you guys. I checked the stats. Ferrantis' base speed is 45, and Blastoids is 78. So we totally would have outspeed. He got a lucky bounce to win him the game. That is whack. Get out my face. But second battle here. I realized on this team that uh, Dynamax candies are not on all the Pokemon. So I gotta make sure I Dynamax right Pokemon. So Blastoids has it. Uh, Incineroar has it. Braviary has it, and then Lycanroc and Tauros do not have it. I really want to Dynamax Tauros and uh, show that off a little bit more, but, you know, he doesn't have Dynamax candies. So maybe Braviary can be a, be a nice little Dynamax after a workup. Well, let's get rolling here. I'm going to go, uh, maybe I'm going to go with Cinnaroy. Actually, this is a little tough. Are you going to go Physical Attackers? Just Blastoids. Uh, I'm going to go with these two. I'm going to go with these two. Potentially try to set up Tailwind and then just Dynamax. I could bulk up. Go Lycanroc here, and then if he... Mm, I mean, do I take... Should I play this one? This should be my final spot. I think I'm going to take Blastoids up in here with that Assault Vest. I think that's our call. I think that is our call. Let's get rolling with this one. So, G-Max, Blastoids, and Lycan Rock up in here. I'm going to go for that Fake Out. Maybe try to get a Bulk Up or a Tailwind out here and then Dynamax that Brave Yard if we can. If we can, that could be lovely. But who are you going to lead? Whom are you going to lead? If he leads Lucario, I could fake him out, but I feel like Lucario might be a Dynamax Pokemon. Let's see what, what happens here. Let's see what happens. We got the Intimidate coming out as well. Here goes Lucario and Flapple. Is he going to Dynamax now? I think I just burn him. Do I burn him? No, I got to fake out somebody. Get that nice little Intimidate out here. Come on, boy. This thing's in our focus. And oh, his attack's not leveraged, so. Mm. I'm going to fake out the Flapple. Do I set up a Tailwind, or do I just Dynamax? Yeah, I feel like that, that thing's uh, Dynamax and Lucario, right? You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna slow I'm gonna slow things down. I'm gonna go for a fake out here over on you. And I am gonna set up a tailwind. 
I'm gonna set up a tail one shot. I think speed advantage in this game. Um, he does not Dynamax. Good little pullback from me. I'm gonna take speed advantage here. And then I can Dynamax. He goes for an Aurora Spirit. Wait a minute. Oh, he's inner focus. Oh my god, I am so dumb. How dumb can I be? How dumb can I be? I just saw he's inner focus, but still, this works out just fine. Man, what you mean? <laughs> I'm so dumb. Guy, guy for my cinema. That's totally fine. Got that tail went up. Okay, he goes. Oh, he survives. Oh, I love you. Okay, so that thing might actually swap. Do I bulk up now? I just put the burn on. I could. I could put the burn on him. And I'm gonna bulk up. I'm gonna bulk up. I should be able to outspeed, be able to get this burn off here. Right? I'm thinking that. Actually, no, he's just gonna go for a bullet punch, but still. That's fine. I'll get a free bulk up up, and then what's called is not gonna do too, too much. Oh, Flapple's gonna protect. That's totally cool by me. You going for that bullet punch? He's not? He's not? Okay, we get that a nice little bulk up. I'm chilling with it. I'm cool with it. Get this burn off. Go first, Incineroar. He did not go for the bull punch. That is lovely. We get this burn. Nice little burn damage over here. Get him. Get him. He's going to go for a counter. Counter's going to fail. I am going to... Do I bulk up again? <laughs> How do I play this one? <laughs> I could bulk up again. <laughs> I could totally do it. <laughs> but I think I'm going to parting shot out. And then, uh... Just Dynamax going through a max airstream. Or do I parting shot on you? Because that thing's burned and I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to parting shot on Lucario. I'm just going to get this speed boost going. Let's go. Let's take out this Flapple. Let's take out Flapple. Get out my face. Let's get Braviary up in here. We got that Tailwind and Bulk up. Nice plays by me to actually set that up. And now we're looking pretty good. I still have a weakness policy. So if they want to trigger that, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Get it, Braviary. I always love Braviary. Like, I used to use him on, like, a uh, team. Right? Like, one of my favorite teams. And he was Life Orb. It was so strong. It was just Life Orb. You would start off. You can just airstream, start taking speed advantage. You have Knuckle to boost your attack. You just roll out from there. But Flapple's definitely going to go down here. Unless he's Sash, but I don't think he is going to be. Nope. No Sash for him. Get him gone. Get out of here, kid. Good trash, kid. <laughs> We get the speed. The speed's up. Now I'm going to be able to parting shot. Unless, I know, he's not going for a bullet punch. I'm surprised this thing's not trying to tee off on me on a, bull, uh, a bullet punch. But we're going to get that attack drop, which is lovely. Which is lovely. And the focus doesn't block that. And we go back over here. And I'll, now, should I get out Lycan Rock? I'm actually get out you. I'm going to get out him so I can get another fake out opportunity here. So I can get another fake out opportunity. Get out Slump God right here. <laughs> G-Max Blast Switch. This thing goes for Meteor Mash. Poo poo damage. Poo poo damage. Oh my god, I'm not even worried about that Lucario. Not even worried about him. I might fake out the Lucario just so I don't have to worry about it. And then just dump on this other mon. We're chilling. He's gonna pull out Blast Switch, and I definitely think he might die to access Blast Switch. So I'm gonna just uh, fake out the Lucario just so he doesn't get off a shot. And I'm gonna go for an airstream and start taking speed control, baby. Speed control. Let's get it. And if he goes for the Hailstorm, I think we definitely eat up and we trigger weakness policy. But I'll we'll probably just go for a G Max Canyoning. Yes, sir. We looking good. We looking good. Man, I wish Dynamax Candies were, were on that uh, Tauros. More so than Lycan Rock. Lycan Rock. Because I feel like Lycan Rock is just like a nice back end Pokemon and do some damage and pick up your wins. Especially for the way it's built on this team. A Blast Age protects. So, okay, that's fine. But I wish that Tauros definitely had it because I like to go into the fake outs and then uh, bulk up. Well, not bulk up. Do work up with them with the Tauros and then roll out from there. And then just Dynamax with that Sheer Force and Life Orb. But we get off this airstream. We get the speed boost, which is nice. So I'm going to take uh, full on speed control here. And then I'm going to take out. I'm probably going to take out the Blastoise here. Probably going to do some work on the Blastoise yet. <laughs> just for close combat. And poo poo damage. Straight poo poo damage. I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it. I'm not worried about that Lucario. It's straight poo poo. I can take it out one shot. Tailwind's gone, but we have the speed bulk now anyway, so it ain't, it ain't, it ain't no problem. I'm just gonna scald, say bye bye Lucario, and then airstream over onto Blastoids. If I can get pick up the double kill here, we chilling good. We chilling good. We looking good, baby. Come on, come on, make a move. 
And I can't believe he let me get off that tailwind and the bulk up. Like, I, I knew I, would, I could get off one. I was like, all right, I'll get off the tailwind. And then after the moves that happened, I was like, dude, I can get off a bulk up easily. So I did that, and then we rolled out. Now we're rolling out here strong. But seriously, guys, thank you so much for all the support that has been going out on these uh, ranked battles. Seriously, hope you guys do enjoy it. Oh, Blast Wizzy Golem. Get it out of here. Seems like you guys do. You guys already know the deal. If you are enjoying it, make sure you smash that like button. It does go a long way, and it helps uh, the channel grow out. So if you are enjoying the content on any channel, not just my channel, make sure you support them by smashing that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really does uh, go a long way for the creator and uh, their channel growth. But boom. See you later, Lucario. Get going, kid. Yeah, I know I, I can pick up the double kill there. Lucario was just in the dump. Now we have speed control. I think maybe he brought Charizard. And Machamps.com. I've been seeing this. I think people buy Pokemon off this. And I heard they're potentially hacked. So, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. But I wouldn't be buying Pokemon off of uh, things. And this guy quits. He just turns off his switch and he says, see you later. So, GG. One and one with this team. Let's hop into our third and final battle and try to get a winning record. Final battle for this video coming at you guys. This guy has Noivern, Grimmsnarl for potentially screens, Dusk Form, Lycanroc right here. Is this Dusk or is this one Dawn? I, I, I get confused. I think we have Dawn, Dawn and this one's Dusk. Or we have Dusk. I don't even know. But he has a, the Midnight Form, Lycanroc, Malwak, Alolan, Malwak, Toxtricity, potentially G-Max, and potentially Belly Drum, Snorlax. Okay. How should I roll out here? How should I? Jeans roll out here. I kind of want to set up a Roar Veil if he's going to set up screens. I'm going to go you. You, right here. I kind of want to go definitely like a rock in the back end. And do I go Incineroar? Incineroar! Oh, yeah, yeah. Do I go in? Hmm. Whom would I like to go for? Yeah, yeah. Who would I like to go for? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, who, who do I want? It's either Incineroar or Braviary. Incineroar or Braviary. We got another fake out user. Darkest Lariat. Or I can get my Tailwind and potentially take speed later. I'm going to go with Braviary since he came up clutch in that last battle. But let's get it, yo. Let's get it. I cannot wait to show off this team. Once again, I'm loving the Blastoids and Lycanroc in this. Again, I didn't really get to show off the Tauros too, too much. I feel like I would love it, but no Dynamax candies. I feel like I can go for a Fake Out and then I'll Work Up and then Dynamax have the Sheer Force, the Life Orb and all that and just roll out there. But no Dynamax candies on him or the Lycanroc. But like I said, it's fine with the Lycanroc because I'm really not going to Dynamax him too, too much. But he goes into Noiburn and Toxtricity. So I am going to pick out the Toxtricity. And uh, set up a Roar Veil. Do I set up a Roar Veil? I do have a Salt Vest. This thing's got to be Tailwinded. Or do I just double Blizzard out? Hmm. I'm going to set up a Roar Veil. Just play it slow. And then just uh, fake out you. Let's just fake out this thing. Fake out. Look at that nice little fake out. Give it a little claps. Give him a little claps. Oh, and he goes for a flamethrower. Can we eat this up? This one's going to be close. It's not stabbed, so I'm thinking we can. So we do eat up. So no tail one for him. That is uh, actually pretty huge. And he gets a crit. What you mean? What you mean he gets a crit? War Veil coming out here. Yay. Now we can set that up. And I'm going to go for that double blizzard. That double blizzard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buffett's coming out. Buffett's coming out. Hey. Uh, what's called is probably going to go down here. I think Blastoids can eat up uh, an Electric Shock from Toxtricity because we have that Soul Fest and a Roar Bell. And uh, I'm just going to go for a Double Blizzard here. So double Blizzard. Get it. Get it, baby. As much as I want a Dynamax, I don't really want to risk it. Do not want to risk it. But I'm hoping my both these mods could outspeed the Toxtricity. Let's see. Flamethrower comes out. I saw that coming. We can say bye-bye to you. Actually, maybe we eat... No, I was gonna say because he got a crit last time, and now we're in a roar. What you mean? This thing learned a new ability. Got another crit. What is this game? Can we eat this up? Yeah, our soul vest and that aurora bell coming out hard. Woods are hitting 100% of the time here. Can we do some big damage over here? We can say bye bye Noivern. Maybe get the freeze on toxicity because this dude gets two crits. And does this dude learn like a new ability or something that I'm not that I'm not familiar with? Like, what, what is going on here? Like, what is going on here? <laughs> uh, I'm going to bring out Braviary here, and I'm going to Dynamax Braviary. I'm going to Dynamax Braviary, and just keep Blastoids to go into this Blizzard's 100% accuracy. He's going to go into Loki, which is fine. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm cool with that. Yeah, I'm definitely just going to keep rolling out Blizzards, and uh, my Braviary should be able to outspeed, and then we should just uh, be able to roll into a, uh, a uh, little bit of Airstream. 
And if he wants to hit me, I have I can trigger weakness policy. Mm, hold up. I'm gonna have to go for a max strike on this thing. Yeah, we're gonna have to go for a max strike. And then just drop another blizzard. So yeah, actually this thing might have fake out, but definitely gotta go for that max strike. If he triggers my weakness policy, I'm cool with it. I'm so cool with it. And overdrive's gotta hit both of us. I'm fine with it. We got that assault fest and we have the roar bell set up, looking all pretty. He might start setting up screens of his own. But I'm thinking Max Strike could potentially take it out if we outspeed. Well, we do outspeed and then we'll lower their speed as well. That's what's good about Max Strike too. It, over Airstream. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, we goes for a T-Bolt, which I still think we eat up, right? Yeah. Beautiful. We get a nice little snacky there. And we're going to be able to drop their speed here. So next turn, even though we didn't get the speed boost, we lower theirs and we can be able to outspeed next turn. And Max Strike does take out. So wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Get that speed drop. I wonder what this thing's going for. Maybe a, uh, what, a spirit break over with the Grimmy Pooh? Blizzard comes out. Can we get the freeze, baby? We get the freeze. Show it to me. And no. He's going to go for a Thunder Punch and take out Blastoids. I'm cool with it. We're going to get out. Oh, wait, does not. But the Buffets are going to take me out. <laughs> Buffets have just been a death of me. They have just been a death of me. And we're going to get out Lycanroc. So Lycanroc's, uh, pretty much guaranteed to move here. Unless this thing has Sucker Punch. But I think we're fine. We're chilling, we're chilling. Now I can start going for air streams, boosting speed. And this thing has Snorlax. He's going for the Laxy Poo. Laxy, Laxy Poo. And he's got a Dynamax hat, right? Am I correct? He's got a Dynamax hat. I'm definitely going for the air stream because if we get stabbed, and then uh go for a play rough and just end this thing. I could go for a rock side just in case. Hmm. I'm gonna go for a rock side. I'm gonna go for a rock side. Get that stab damage. Does this count towards tough calls? Because it says contact moves. It says contact moves. Alright, so here comes a big old G-Max Rolex. That's the last option here, right? Yeah. But it says contact moves, and I don't know if uh, Rockside considers a contact move. I, I know Play Rough does, and what was his other move that he had on him? Would consider contact moves, because you can just see he goes up in there and he's making contact with him. But Lycan Rock's going to go first. Can we do some damage over on there, Crimson Roll? Do not pick up the KO. And the airstream does come out here over onto the Snorlax. Maybe we can get a flinch onto that, uh, that, uh, Grimstone. That'd be huge. I can just drop another rock side, put it the KO. We'll be chilling. We'll take speed advantage all day. And he goes for a lightning. Ooh, trigger my weakness boss. Thanks very much. Not stab. We eat up all day. All day, baby. That's gonna be game. Wrap it up, baby. Wrap it up. So I know you're not taking out my Lycan shot, Lycan rock in one hit. Especially not that Grim Snarl. That's GG. That is GG in a can. And there you go. Grim Snarls does flinch. It's easy work. That's light work. Uh, do we think this thing guards? Do we think he guards? I'm definitely dropping a rock side. I think it's leftovers. So no berry for him. So G Max replenish. Why wouldn't you give him a berry? To me. An airstream. And then a rock side for the game. Like, and we have stopping tantrum. That was his final move. I was trying to think of it. But, yo, let's get it. Two and one with this team. I know I got this one in the bag. It's light work. We got Braviary coming up clutch. Braviary has actually uh, always been a good Pokemon. I said that in the last battle. He's just always been so strong, especially with the moves you learn. He can bulk up his attack. I'm not talking about bulk up. I'm talking about Max Knuckle. You can get a nice attack buff. And same thing with Max Airstream. And they're both stab, right? Oh, no. He's part normal. Part normal. But still, Max Strike is stab as well, which is wonderful. And Rockside comes out. Ooh, says, see you later, Grimmsnarl. What's going on doing actually a decent amount of damage on Lycan Rock? On that G-Max Snorlax? Like, come on. And then Airstream's going to come in here and clean it up. GG, baby. 2-1. Like I said, I had blast with this team. Probably should have went 3-0 if you think about it. Like, come on. That bounce really got that paralyzed. Like, when does bounce ever get paralyzed? And he wins the game off of that. But 2-1. Awesome team right here. Let's get it, guys. One last shout out to MC for building me this team. Guys, if you want to build me teams, leave them over in my Instagram DM. It's easier for me there. If you guys do not have Instagram, YouTube comments is just okay too. But GMAX Blastoids, glad I got to show it off. And we got to show off Lycan Rock 2, two new Isle of Armor Pokemon. One thing I wish this team would have had was Dynamax Candies on that Taurus. Because that thing could be an absolute beast with fully Dynamax Candy, so we can use it to its fullest potential. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.